global inspiration will have an elderly woman, almost 80 years old, as a guest this week. She suffers from dementia. And when we say dementia, it affects or the symptoms affecting memory, thinking, and social abilities. She is my mother, Ninita Maranyan. She requested to be on the show so people would know or to give them ideas on how to deal with aging parents or someone suffering from dementia. Ninita Maranyan has been teaching elementary students at public school for 40 years. She is a graduate of Master of Arts in Education, and she reared three kids of her own and one nephew and one niece as a single mom. Before we will proceed to the main interview, I would like to remind the viewers to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button so you get a notification every time a new video is being released. Is Jeanette Jordi at Global Inspiration, where you need to be seen, need to be heard, and be an inspiration to the world. Friends, let's all welcome to the show my dearest mother, Ninita Maranyan. Yes, I'm Mrs. Ninita Maranyan, and I want the people to know that I'm suffering from dementia. Okay, so tell us more about yourself. How long have you been teaching elementary? Yes, I have been teaching for more than 40 years. So you've been teaching elementary for 40 years yes. and you finish a master's degree. Yes. You remember what is that master's degree? Yes. What is that? I'm a master in education. So you get a master of arts in education. Can you tell us how long have you been here in America? Oh, I cannot remember anymore. My mom has been in America since 2001, <clears throat> and she's coming back and forth from the Philippines to America. And then you came back in 2015 and 2016. Do you remember why? What is the reason why you came back to America five years ago? No, I cannot remember anymore. My mom came back to America because I was getting married, and I want her to experience and be a part of the wedding. Do you remember how many kids do you have? Yes, I remember. Okay. I have three kids. You have three kids. Do you remember their names and where they are now? Uh, Jeanette is here okay. in front of me. Then the second one is in Japan. Okay. And she is a licensed Yes, yeah, she is also a licensed teacher. Okay. And the third is, uh, she is in the Philippines. And what is his name? She is Romel. He is Romel. So you have three kids, Jeanette, Jenda, and Rumel. Jenda is in Japan, and Rumel is in the Philippines. Do you remember where in the Philippines Rumel is? He is in Nabunturan. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So, but is there like a nephew or nieces that you were rearing as a single mom beside the three kids that you have? Yes, I have a niece. Okay, what's the name of your niece? Uh, I cannot remember. So the, the niece's name was Mayumi Dihardo, yes, yes. and the nephew's name was Almer Maranyan. So single-handedly, mom feed the three of her kids, and a nephew and a niece, as a single mom. You were abandoned by mm -hmm. your husband when I was 12 years old. Do you remember any details about the phase in your life? I can remember that my husband abandoned us, but I cannot remember. You, you cannot remember, okay. Yeah. So I was, we were abandoned by our father when, you were, when I was 12 years old. And you rear us kids. And my mom was a teacher, but her salary is not enough because 75 to 85% of her salary as a teacher goes to the mortgage of the house. And he has to pay for the utilities feeding us and spending fare going back and forth to the school. You remember what was your position when you retired? From yeah, yes, I retired as a master teacher too. So you retired as a master teacher too. So you've been teaching for almost 40 years, yes, correct? Yes. 
And do you remember what are the subjects that you were teaching? Yes, I was teaching mathematics. Mathematics. English. English. And science. Yeah. Mathematics, English, and science. My mom was teaching all those subjects, but I am not good at those subjects. I remember, Ma, when mm. I was in elementary and in high school, you were so active in extracurricular activities. You wake up early in the morning, and I remember you were coaching some sports. Do you remember what are the sports yes. group? V volleyball. Okay, you yeah. coach volleyball. And softball. And softball. Track and field. And track and field. She remembers because it happens 30, more than 30 years ago. And I also remember that you were teaching folk dancing when I was in elementary in high school. Do you remember what are these dances that you were teaching the kids? It's the Cariñosa. Yeah, my favorite. The Coracha. So Cariñosa, Coracha, what else? Pandango sa ilaw. Pandango sa ilaw. Were you teaching tinikling before? Yes, I was. Yeah. So it's cariñosa, kuracha, pandango sa ilaw, and tinikling. And my mom is really into dancing. And I think I got that trait from my mother. Now let's talk about dementia. And I would like to remind the viewers that there is no doctor involved in this interview. We did an internet research. Our resources are medicinenet.com and webmd.com. We are here to be talking about my mother's Ninita Maranyon feelings and emotion. Dementia is not a specific disease, but is rather a general term for the impaired ability to remember, think, or make decisions that interferes with doing everyday activities. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. Though dementia mostly affects older adults, it is not a process or a part of normal aging. Dementia is a general term used for progressive mental or cognitive decline that has affected 47 million people all over the world, it means globally or worldwide. By 2015, this number is expected to increase to an estimated 131 million people. Dementia has seven stages. Stage one, no cognitive decline. The, when we say cognitive, it refers to the process of knowing perceiving or reasoning. The CT scan or the computed tomography of the brain might show some minor changes, but the patient does not exhibit any of the cognitive signs and symptoms. Stage two, very mild cognitive decline. Forgetting words or misplacing objects might occur due to normal aging process. Stage three, mild cognitive decline. Patient suffers from short-term memory loss. Forgetting what they just have read, watch on TV, or names of new acquaintances. Stage four, moderate cognitive decline. Patient loss interest in the things that they used to enjoy and avoids meeting people and attending social events. Disoriented to time and place, they forgot or figure out the present time, date, and location. Stage five, moderately severe cognitive decline. Patient experiences major memory disturbances. Name of the husbands, the children, and close grandkids forget how to bath and face trouble while choosing and wearing clothes. Stage six, severe cognitive decline. Patient loses his or her memory as much as they fail to remember the names of closed ones and might mistake one person to another. Stage seven, the very severe cognitive decline or the end 
stage of the final stage of dementia. The patient needs assistance for eating, drinking, walking, and sitting, loss of bladder and bowel control. Their ability to communicate is hampered drastically as they speak too little, too little, struggling with words. With the seven stages that I mentioned, we, the family, without the doctor's advice, is thinking and believing that my mom is suffering from stage three, the mild cognitive decline, and stage four, moderate decline. As I have mentioned before, we believe that mama is suffering from stage three and stage four because her status falls definitely on those stages. Mama has no sense of time, date, names, and location. Do you know what day is today, Ma? No, I cannot remember. Do you know the name of my best friend in America? No. <laughs> Do you know the name of your best friend in America? We are supposed to be going today to celebrate her birthday. Oh, I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> her name is Gemma. So, Mama has a tendency of forgetting special events, whether it's happy or sad. Her sister died two weeks ago, Indai, my aunt Indai, and she was sad when she learned about it. And then after five minutes, she could not remember why she was sad. And then the following morning, she asked me about Aunt Indai. How was Aunt Indai? And then when I told her that Aunt Indai is dead, she was sad and started to cry again. So I told my friends and my family members in the Philippines that I will not remind Mama because she keeps on acting again and be sad again. And also, when Mama moved to America five years ago, she loved to cook, so I let her cook. But I noticed, especially during COVID, that her dementia get worse. She could not remember what is the first vegetable to put in the pot first, and she could not remember if she, if she put salt. So there are times that oh, we're eating salty food. And she tend to misplace things. She forgets where to place the plates. And I told, I keep on telling her, do not mix the white and the green plates. And then she said, yes, I will not do that. And then after five minutes, she's doing it. It is depressing. It is frustrating for a daughter that I'm taking of my aging mom because my mom was so smart, but she's going downhill because of dementia. When did you start experiencing symptoms of dementia, Ma? Uh, two years ago. Okay. After I retired. Okay, so I, I'll stand mommy corrected because it's not two years ago. She retired when she was 63 years old. It's not two years ago, Ma. Oh. No, that's fine, that's fine. So I, I noticed, I believe, that my mom's dementia got worse during COVID because he stayed inside the house. He doesn't, she doesn't want to do gardening, she doesn't want to cook. And when she eats, she eats tiny food, little only on the plate. And it bothers me because she used to love to eat, but now she's only having chocolates and some sweets. Now that you're suffering from dementia, what do you feel inside you? What do you feel? I feel alone. You feel alone. Why do you feel alone? Because I cannot talk with other people. I might, uh, I, I forgot their names, and aside from that, I cannot answer them right away. I have to think what will I do, what will I say. Okay. So, what else do you feel? I feel insecure. You feel insecure deep inside you? Yeah. What else? I feel alone. You feel alone, yeah. Understandably, that is a feeling that most of the aging parents are suffering. And not only parents, even though they are not parents, all aging people are suffering or those who are suffering from dementia. 
now that I am your daughter taking care of you, what are the traits that you wish kids have while taking care of their parents so that this journey, the aging process, will, be, will go on smoothly? These kids should be kind, okay. understanding, okay. and loving to their old parents. Yeah, I under I under totally understand Mama's point. Kids need to be kind and loving to their parents because they took care of us when we were kids. They they feed us, they, they played with us, and it's our turn to return the favor to them. I understand that you are not happy here in America because you are not using our dialect. You are not going a lot of Filipino events because you prefer to be staying at home. And there are no Filipino places that you can go to. And if you have a wish, what is that right now? How I wish I can go back to the Philippines. Oh, you want to go back to the Philippines? And why is that, Ma? So that I could talk and play with my grandchildren. Uh, gr uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So. Does it make you happy to be playing, talking, and reading yes. to your great-grandkids? Yes. So she wants to go back to the Philippines, and we're planning to go back to the Philippines in March to celebrate her birthday. And I hope that this COVID virus mm -hmm. will be gone, and not necessarily be gone, but it is manageable that we could go and fly over to the Philippines. Last month, or a couple of weeks ago, you received $1,000. It is a grant coming from Kairosu, All Things Alzheimer's. You received $1,000. What is your plan of the $1,000, or have you bought anything using that money? I cannot remember. We bought wheelchair for mama. Yes, yes. Yes. We bought wheelchair for mama. We also bought a table tray for the wheelchair with two cup holders. We also bought a cane of, with a four prong based cane and a portable urinal. And next month we will be taking a vacation using the money in another in a different state and we are also planning to go to another state maybe October or November. Can you share with the viewers any thoughts now that you are suffering from dementia? To the viewers, I would like to, to say that take care of their old, uh, old parents because they cannot remember anymore. They might not remember you anymore. Who are you taking mm -hmm. care of them? So please take good care of them. Oh, it touches my heart. But I want you to know, Ma, that your friends in the Philippines, your neighbors, your students, your distant relatives, whoever that are close to you loves you in the Philippines. And also here in the United States of America, your family, Tim's family, our neighbors, my friends, we all love you. And we, I want you to know that, that regardless of what will happen, you are not alone. We are all here loving you. Hello, Mami Lo. Mama, from Japan, your daughter, Jinjin. Do you still remember me? I love you and I miss you so much. I love you so much. Hope to see you next year. Your beautiful granddaughter, Lom Najane. Your grandson, Ken Ken. <laughs> yeah, I miss you, Mami Lo. Love you. I love you. See you next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, this is Ronald. Always take care of yourself. We love you. Uh, hello, Ma. This is my my your favorite. Uh, stay safe always, no matter what happens. 
You're the best mom that I ever had. I love you, Ma. See you soon. Stay safe. This is Janet Jordi at Global Inspiration, where you need to be seen, need to be heard, and be an inspiration to the world.